Well, folks, today is Tuesday, November 7. It's my birthday. I'm 67 years old. A uh, little bit of an update. We're starting to board the place up where we have holes and the like, and so that's our front door. Uh, we boarded that up because I've got to make that. Um, we have windows in all the rooms. All the windows that we bought are installed right now. This is bedroom number three. There's bedroom number two. These are both about 12 by 12, I think, are the dimensions. Uh, I've got to put some some uh, sheathing up on that, that wall and then that wall and that wall. And it'll do, basically it's to keep the walls stiff. Uh, this is that feature that we added. Uh, there's a dormer up there. We have a floor on top of the guest closet there. Um, we have yet to, uh, we gotta frame out a couple of studs in here. Um, and then <clears throat> this will all get drywalled. There'll be a flat roof or flat ceiling across there. Um, and then when we insulate it, what we'll end up doing is putting tie back on the back part of these of this wall and then drywalling it and then drywalling the ceiling. Tie back goes on the back and then we insulate it and then put the drywall on it. So um, we'll probably have a big fan up there somewhere and some lights. A um, little bit of layout. This wall here against that's against a, our closet. That's going to be um, refrigerator, a little bit of counter space, eight burner stove, a little bit of counter space, two double wall ovens. And then in here, yeah, right here it says bar sink. Uh, Linda wants a little prep sink there. And then over in there, there'll be another sink. This will be a five foot by 14 foot island with a maple butcher block countertop. That, and I'm building the cabinetry on that and all the cabinets in the kitchen and the bathrooms. Uh, this will be a, right here, there'll be a wall in here. Uh, this will be a walk-in pantry. Um, through this door will be, um, there'll be a bathroom here and the bathtub on the other side of that wall, and then another sink. This will really serve as the bathroom for the common area and for bedrooms two and three. Um, bedroom three will have a closet over there. Linda's uh, laundry room, and uh, this is the bed, the uh, the be uh, closet for bedroom number two. Um, this is our walk-in closet. It's eight by sixteen. Um, the other side of the wall is the uh, the kitchen, um, and here's our bathroom, which is seven feet by sixteen. Uh, there will be a big soaking tub underneath this window. Um, shower that'll go from wall to wall they have two shower heads one there and one there um walk in somewhere in here toilet um and then a vanity with a sink there and a sink there um this will be our bedroom and uh, there's our view of the lake. Uh, there's the windows that we've put in. Those are six feet high, about 24 inches off the ground. Uh, we have a couple of awning windows for uh, light from the east side. Uh, through the wall here is the great room, I call it. Huh. I remember this was going to be a deck originally, then a three-season porch, and then we turned it into a four-season porch, and we pushed the basement out. Um, 
So we're going to have our four sets of French doors. Uh, over the top of this one, we're just going to block it off. And then there'll be two trapezoid type windows, one there and one over the center, the other center piece. Uh, and so, you know, the kitchen will come out to about here. Linda's always wanted a very informal area, so she's actually going to hang a hammock from here over to there. Um, right now on the outside, we've draped those openings with um, a tarp. Um, I'll probably put some insulation in there for the winter and put some sheathing over the top of it that I'll be able to remove in the spring. Um, this is the one post that holds up this whole uh, deal. It holds up that three girder truss system and it holds up that three LVL beams that the uh, trusses in the great room set on. So uh, this is a very important area. Underneath it, we've uh, put quite a number of two by sixes underneath it to uh, uh, give it some support and then all the weight gets shifted down to the footings. This is our living room. Uh, it's 34 feet from from here over to the windows. Uh, and of course, we're looking out on the lake. Uh, we can see the lake through the windows as well as on the side, there's a little inlet there. Uh, over here between these two windows, we'll put our t television and then we'll have a, a fireplace down here, bookcases on either side. Um, it's gonna be a, you know, it's gonna be a while before we get insulation and heat in here because one of the things I have to do first is wire it. And, um, but before I wire, I wanna get my soffits built because you see daylight all along there and that's where the soffit is. And so I wanna get that all built up on the outside and uh, so that I don't end up with birds and squirrels and everything else living in here. Um, over here, you can see all this plywood. Well, as you come in through the garage, there'll be a landing here in about three or four steps. And then this is the area down to the basement. My friend Pete and I had built the steps uh, and then I took them apart after we decided to raise the uh, ceiling or the uh, blocks in the basement two additional feet. So I have to rebuild uh, this set of stairs. What we'll do is go down. There will be a landing right about in there. You'll turn, and the last two or three steps, will um, you'll be walking facing the, the lake. Uh, this is going to be what we'll call our mud room, basically where we'll keep our, you know, our, uh, like our coats and dog food, uh, vacuum cleaner, etc., in this area. Um, in here, through this door, which um, you approach right off of the uh, entryway, we'll have a guest closet where we'll be able to hang their coats and the like. Um, out here is our garage, a single stall the double stall. Our walls are 12 feet high. We have a window there. It looks like it's just very, very low, but it's not. Um, and uh, so that's there. I've got to put some sheathing up in here. Um, so there's, there's a lot to do. Uh, I think we've accomplished an awful lot. And, uh, you know, we still have a lot to do in here. We, we've obviously... We've got to get the shingles on, and I'm not sure that we'll have that happen this year or if it'll have to wait until next year. But in here, some of the things we'll have to do is on the trusses, we'll have to um, run up some what they call strong backs on some of these uh, trusses that go up at an angle, like for instance this one, some of those big long ones. We've got to put, uh, nail another board on top of it to basically uh, keep it stiff. So that's the upstairs. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. In summary, 
we're moving along. Uh, it'll be a big open area out here. Um, you know, if you think about it, the only walls we'll have will be where our uh, bedrooms are and, uh, and then the attendant bathrooms and closets and the like. So uh, Linda and I enjoy a big wide open area. Uh, we'll have our, uh, we'll make a big table, kitchen table for uh, Sunday night get togethers. Um, you know, right now we have 14 people around the table and as those seven grandkids get a little older, um, we're gonna need a little bit more elbow room for each of them. So one of the things I'll probably build is a, a table uh, that will be able to um, make bigger or smaller. And right now my inclination is uh, to maybe make that out of some of the old rafters that came out of this uh, original house. So thanks for watching, bye.